Hey, Nate Kennedy here. What's going down? I'm sitting here in the think tank. Uh, I got the old school trusty chalkboard behind me. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little video called uh, the affiliate or the offer. And in this video, I kind of want to cover uh, the, the process flow. Over the years, I've, we've obviously seen webinars be real big. We've seen webinars die off. We've seen launches be real big. We've seen launches die off. We now got the video sales letters going on and there's obviously going to be some new sales methods that come out over over the interim as well because eventually those will kind of lose a little bit of ground as well uh, and what's happened is i want to cover this because i think it's important that uh it get addressed it's kind of that elephant in the room where you promote have you ever promoted somebody and the, and the offer is totally bombed but your buddy promoted it and it, it converted like gangbusters for him you know, you can either point the finger at the the offer creator, you can point the finger at the affiliate, but it really isn't, I don't think, uh, on a broad level and high view, either one of those people's faults. I've promoted offers that have crushed for us and I've promoted offers that have bombed for us, and I'm not really gonna go to that person that created the offer and be like, hey, your offer sucks. I think what happens is it breaks down to a couple things. I think it breaks down to uh, your message. How does your audience view you and the message that you're delivering? So that offer that you're promoting to them, does that message actually resonate with them? So I think a lot of times people just mail. And if, if they mail, hey, the offer's converted gangbusters for someone else, it's gotta convert gangbusters for me. That's usually not the case. You wanna make sure that that, that message resonates with, with your audience and your herd that you've created. And another thing is there's a lot of cross-pollination on all of our lists. I mean, people are on uh, my list or on other people's list or on multiple different lists and they're seeing that so if they get bombarded with emails all for the same offer they're going to obviously purchase from one of the people who does something better than the other one being have you built a better relationship with that individual if you've built a, a better relationship they're more apt to buy from you if they're interested in that product have they uh, are you offering a bonus for that product and have you flipped the message have you have you flipped the script a little bit on the message have you just cut and pasted the email uh, without putting your own your own voice into it, you may be you're, you may be losing the opportunity to get opens and clicks because they may see the same subject line that they saw from five other people. So you want to make sure you change up emails, offer bonuses where you can. It doesn't have to be crazy bonus bonus packages, but some bonuses. And then also, uh, you know, does that does that offer match? your your relationship with that list and i think that's a big key factor so uh, i don't really think it's uh, one or the other uh whether the the affiliate sucks or the offer sucks i think you know at the end of the day they're both doing the best that they can it's just a matter of whether that message resonates properly whether the we're doing the right thing to uh to change that message up so it doesn't look like the same old adage that they've seen through other people and i think that's super important and uh anyways i hope this is just a quick little video i hope it helps uh, if there's anything that, that I can do to help you with your offers, I mean, we've rolled out a lot of different offers over the last, uh, last year, testing a ton of different things, page designs, upsells, uh, headlines, just so many, so many dip buttons to click, you know, basically order buttons. We tested so many things over the last year on all these different offers we rolled out. We've learned a lot. So if you ever want to, uh, just chat about conversions, and offers, uh, feel free to contact me. I'll help you out any way I can. And other than that, uh, best of luck to you and uh, keep growing your herd, keep growing your audience. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to doing some more things with you. Thanks.